morning everyone I have good news guess what today I'm gonna do another small giveaway now we just finished a give giveaway uh, I put one up two weeks ago and that was thanks to Habit Nest who was so sweet uh, to send us those beautiful journals one for me to do a review and one to give away and lucky Gina she was a winner by the way it's on its way to you so let me know when you get it but because they were small giveaways I decided I was gonna do one more and this giveaway is really exciting because it's something that I love to do so here we go okay in this giveaway you're gonna get one of these and you're probably saying what's that for well you know what this is this goes on your back it's just a little tote bag that you can just throw on your back here's the top you pull it and then you just hang it on your back so you're gonna get one of these you're gonna get four of these and I'll show you what these are they're just uh, produce bags but guess what I use these bags for I'm gonna show you here's my produce bag and you notice I've got a knife inside yeah mushroom hunting guys I am gonna give up one of these, four of these to put mushrooms that you find when you go mushroom picking. And the best part is all that the rain promises and more. A mushroom book that you could actually carry with you and you get to see what you're picking before you pick it. Now, this is one of the best guides. I keep it on me all the time. I'll show you mine. Yes. Oh, nice. Here's my book and we carry it all the time and if you're not sure how you mushroom hunt uh, basically if you find a mushroom with gills uh, you check it out on this side and then they ask you questions uh, example maybe I should put on my other glasses hold on okay change my glasses Mine's all cracked this point. I'm not going to crack yours because it's brand new, but yours mine. And basically, if you find a mushroom with gills, they ask you if the gills, no, sorry, if the mushroom has gills, radiating blades on the underside of the cap, then you go to this side. Sorry, am I showing you? And then you follow the instructions here. And either you go to this page or you come down and then you can go across basically it guides you on your mushroom hunting and like I said you don't have to eat these mushrooms when you first do this but it's a great way for you to maybe start and go out there and yes what the rain promises when it rains guys you're gonna find mushrooms even if you're not gonna bring them home to eat it's something that you can do as a hobby maybe and eventually as you know your mushrooms you're gonna be able uh, to bring some home and actually enjoy all this fresh beautiful uh, food that nature gives us so this is the this is my book I bring it with me I make notes and it's um, it's a fun book to carry with you because you can actually stop there and check out what you found it shows you how to take it like spore prints um, it basically has a lot of information for you then if you really want to go further into mushroom hunting uh, there are other books you could buy I've got a few that I use that are really really great but if you go on Amazon I'm sure you're gonna be able to find all kinds of mushroom books even mushrooms that grow around your area but I thought this was a cute little giveaway now I'm not gonna do the knife because I have an old wives tale tradition that you don't give anybody anything sharp because sharp items means sharp tongues that means arguing so I'm not gonna do the knife but what I will do is put a link where I buy my knives I've got a whole bunch of cute ones I'm gonna show you they're called uh, toothpick knives here's another one of my knives that I have actually I just got this one because I lost my favorite one tugging on my dog it dropped but here's one knife that I have really cute and it's just a very small knife that you could carry with you and this way you could cut the mushroom right at the stem rather than pulling it out so they're very small knives but it's a good knife what I do is I just tie it at the bottom of my bag and when I go out I grab my bag my knife's in there and then if I find something I just pull it out and I cut whatever I'm gonna cut so 
uh, like I said, I'll put links where you can find these knives. They're not expensive. They're not cheap, but they're not expensive either. And it's just a little knife to put in your pocket. You don't want to be carrying a long swish blade with you. And if you don't want an orange bag, I have a blue one. Uh, all you have to do is tell me, Connie, I don't want the orange one. I'll take the blue one. But I just thought this would be a nice giveaway for you guys because you come to my channel and you see how much I love mushroom hunting. And I wanted to share this great uh, passion I have. And when I tell you every time I go out, I bring home an abundance of food. I bring home an abundance of food. Now, if you're afraid of mushrooms, what you could also do, maybe start seeing some wild greens. There's books if you want. Uh, you could go look them up. There's books on wild greens. So this is a good little knapsack to carry around. And you could put whatever you find in there. So if you go for a nice little hike or make this like a little hobby of yours, I just thought you would like this little giveaway. It's a little giveaway, but it is me saying thank you to all of you. And again, yes, I just did a giveaway not long ago. You're saying, why are you doing another one so soon? Because fall's around the corner, and fall is also a great time to find mushrooms, guys. But remember, mushrooms are not, especially wild mushrooms, it's not something to play around with. Um, learn your mushrooms before you put anything in your mouth. But when you do learn your mushrooms, and you see the greatness that's out there that you can actually find and um, bring home. And it's all free, free for you to eat. Now, like I said, when you're going to do something like this, I also want maybe that you join some kind of mushroom group or maybe take a couple of classes if you can, if you're not sure. I never took a class myself. I basically self-taught. I... Um, I did a lot of research before I put anything in my mouth. I did a lot of homework and did sport print tests and checked websites and checked other books about other books. But I just thought that maybe this little pocket book will be something great for you to carry around with you. So if you ever find something, like I said, even if you're not going to bring it home to eat, you could maybe do a little check. I would definitely crack this open when you first get it, like mine. This way you could actually see where your arrows go. There's a little kind of misprint. There it is. You see, you got to really crack it open to see where your arrows go into. And there's also a back side. And these are uh, mushrooms without gills, like oysters or pochinis, bolites. These are very uh, easy mushrooms to find, especially the bolite. There's very few bolites you can eat, and usually they're the ones that are... Uh, blue staining uh, but there's YouTube videos uh, there's so many things that you could do before like I said before you put anything in your mouth but it's a great start for you to maybe start a hobby something that I really enjoy and I thought maybe one of you will enjoy it and if you don't want to have this giveaway you know don't have to comment because otherwise your name is going to go in the draw I'll leave it for the people that do want to maybe start trying so this is me saying thank you again i love you guys you guys are great uh when you leave me those comments you i can't even express how you make me feel it's amazing i'm so happy that you're enjoying my food i know that my latest is that cheese that i made the potato cheese usually i make like rice cheese nut cheese and i decided i was gonna do a potato one and you know what it's become one of our favorite cheeses too a lot of you already have tried it and you loved it uh, unfortunately some of you didn't get a chance to eat it because you ate it up but if you're gonna make that cheese try and let it go through the whole stage of uh, aging this way you really get to appreciate how that cheese tastes but again I just want to say thank you a little giveaway from me to you to say I love you and thank you and um, this is gonna run for one week I don't want to let this run too long because I want someone to get it before the fall comes so this way you could actually put this book in use and these nice bags and I will put a link where I buy my little knives and maybe you could pick up one of those little knives that you could keep inside one of your bags and throw this in your bigger bag on your back it goes and go for a nice hike enjoy the beautiful scenery of nature and everything that the rain promises and more you will find so good luck to all of you I'm gonna have this run like I said for one week and then 
a day or two later I am gonna make another video telling you who is the winner and I will send this out to you so good luck to all of you and guess what guys I'll see you in my next video for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.